Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out two more of your guys' solar systems so without further ado guys let's just hop straight into this but actually before we uh actually as we hop into our system today as well if you would like to um submit your own solar systems for this series guys make sure to uh join my discord server link in the description and you can uh, upload your simulations in there but please note it will take me time to get to it as a lot of people have already posted and it obviously there's a queue so you've got to obviously wait wait your turn really so yeah apologies for the wait but i can only do so much as one person when there's so many systems being posted but anyways moving on to this system so let's um check out so this was sent by the user um salmon feet yeah so salmon feet so this is their simulation okay so the era Irikumi civilization, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, the Irikumis are a medium-sized humanoid race and have recently discovered space travel in the last 20 years. They notice a strange energy reading picked up by one of their research drones and it turns out that an ancient civilization has left a monolith containing their legacy in the galaxy and the secrets to interstellar travel and their history. The uh, Irikumis will soon be able to grasp the stars. Okay. Right, so here is the star itself. So in the center, as we can see, and we're going to turn off that surface lock nonsense straight away. Okay. So star-wise, though, as we can see, stats very dim, not very large at all. It's more definitely a red dwarf uh, sort of type. I mean, if we uh, look at the sun, 0.3 suns, yeah, not very large whatsoever. Okay, moving on to the first of the planets. So we have Idel down here. Okay, cool. So there it is. Uh, also has some moons, two pretty basic moons by the looks of things. Okay, and then we've got Deacon over here. Okay. Right, taking the jump out to the next object. So we've got Ubine over here. Ancient monolith, there it is. So that's orbiting the gas giant. And then as we can see, we've got uh, Manus Tun over here, which is an Earth-like uh, moon. It always has a space station around it as well. Really cool. That's a good-looking Earth-like world. I really, really like the design on that, actually. It does look really cool. So looking at the stuff down here, so Earth similarity, life likelihood, pretty good stats on there. We can also see it's got some city lights going on as well. Looking good. Very nice planet indeed. Or I should say moon, actually. Very, very nice looking moon. Uh, next planet down, we got this one. So another uh, possible Earth-like world. It does look a little colder at minus 30 degrees, though. And there's something definitely going on over there. Okay, but yeah, there it is. And then what's happened here? 36,000 degrees. Yeah, I'm not sure that's entirely right. I'm guessing it's going to look like that. But yeah, there we are. That's a weird, uh, weird temperature glitch going on there, by the looks of it. And then we got uh, Turvanax over here, which is just another, another basic looking moon. Okay. All right, next jump out, we got this one here. It looks like there's some sort of asteroid belt. Yeah, there is around the uh, main star. So if we go to flashlight mode, for instance, uh, flashlight. I know you can't even see the ring particles. It must be, uh, yeah, they must be very, very dim then. Okay, never mind. So uh, realistic. Or maybe we need to go on uh, Enhanced. That's probably why we can't. There you are. You can see him now. It's because we were on Realistic. So Enhanced, obviously, there is the Asteroid Belt as well. Cool. We'll leave it on Enhanced. Okay, so here's the next uh, planet, though. So all alone. Probably quite similar to Mars in some effects. Does look uh, similar. A little colder, though. There we are. And then lastly, we've got this world over here. So uh, Tista over here. And it's an all orangey yellowy gas giants so there we are so that does it for the first uh, simulation of this video guys as we can see quite a very 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 quick one actually so if we look at the total list of objects there is the whole lineup so yeah not too much obviously the monolith objects are all there as well pretty cool so there's one over here don't think we spotted them all so there's also that one. Oh, it counts as the same object okay never mind that's weird but yeah there we are so that is that system so that's the uh um erikani so I've, I'm really struggling to say this one. Apologies. The Air Kami Civilization System. So um, there is that. But now moving on to the second simulation. So yeah, that first one was posted by the user Salmon Feet in Discord. So a massive thank you to them. But next up, we've got a simulation from Cyrus Plays. And this is called the Cell System. So let's go ahead and actually uh, open this. This one is in the normal uh, saves this time. So let's go ahead and open. It'd be nice if the game would load. Come on, game. Well, why are you going to do this to us? Come on. There we go. So laggy. Uh, these days right um and then it is here okay the cell system so i'm assuming i think this is quite a large system judging by the file size so let's see oh it's taking its time okay what have we got must be something pretty interesting oh we got all the reading oh we have a lot of reading oh my god whoa okay well that'll keep us busy right 
So all the way down, so cell itself. So we'll start off. Okay, so the cell system. This is a more law heavy system. So grab your water and prepare to get reading. I've got a cup of tea if that counts. I'll drink one right now. Okay, so this is the home system of the uh, Kalos, Kalosans, a race of intelligent creatures who have a very rich history. So much history that is being explored on my secondary YouTube channel, Cyrus Mappin. So if you want to check him out, there he is. So also this may or not be uh, canonical to the series. Okay, so if you want to check out more about this system, make sure to check out his uh, channel there. So cool, cool. Okay, but let's cut the commercials. We get to the planets. Okay, so note the star is pronounced Cell, not Kel. Yes, yeah, cell, right? S E L, uh, not Kel. Also, any object with D at the end is a dwarf planet. Okay. Right. Remnant. Okay, so I don't think the star has any description, but here's the star. So, so yeah, a little, uh, little less luminous than the sun, about 70% almost. Uh, smaller in mass and radius as well. Okay. Right. So, first of the planets, and it's called Remnant, and you can see there's an asteroid belt of debris by the looks of things. So, what has happened here? I quite like the use of the asteroid belt to sort of have a remnant planet. That's quite a cool use, actually. So here it is. So remnant. Right. Turn off that surface lock crap. Right. There we are. So remnant. The planet has some better days. It was once a massive planet, the biggest in the inner system. Unfortunately, a slightly smaller planet collided into it, causing most of the silicate shell to be blasted away to form the asteroid belt, as you can see. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, the asteroid belt that surrounds it. Today, at least, this is what the uh, Kelsonians think what happened. Though a secret is hiding in the asteroid belt. Uh, yeah, and I think I saw what that was as well. It's this orbital cannon? Ruined orbital cannon. What is that? So, I'm guessing this was used to uh, blow something up. Right. So, there's... Yeah. So, he's kind of set it up like a cannon with the, with the pointy bit there. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Right, okay. So it's the Kelasoans. Hope I'm saying that right. Okay, next up we have got this one here. So Argaras, named after sent a language of a country, word for hell. Oh, language of a country, Keleso, word for hell. Many think this is the place where you go to die. The reason behind its name is mainly because of the reddish colouring. In reality, it's a quite world that occasionally captures asteroids from the Remnant's asteroid belt. Okay. So it does look very, very reddish. So probably like, almost like a, let's see, temperature-wise, yeah. It's probably just a slightly warmer version of Mars in a way, with the reddish sort of colours, maybe. Cool. Okay, and then it also has a, a moon there. So two moons, two basic-looking moons. Okay, cool. Right, so where are we heading next? Okay, so we got this one. Okay. So scroll down. Okay, so Lee Ladit. Leeladit is a beautiful golden coloured planet. Oh, that does look nice. I do like that. Right. Um, named after the Golan is another civilization on a Keleso word for treasure. It's a hospital world the uh, Kelesonians are currently planning to colonize. It is also recently discovered there are objects of interest in the sphere of influence, which is very little known. Influence. Okay. So there are objects of interest in the sphere of influence of this planet is very little known. Okay, interesting. Destroyed alien battleship is here as well. Okay. Wow, well, that's a nice looking gold planet. I do like it. it. Does look good. Ruined alien terraformer. Ruined alien mining vehicle. And then it has a Somos moon over here. Tiny little moon. And we've also got another moon further out. And then uh, another moon as well. So it's got three moons. Okay. Right, so. Kelaso. So this is the home world of the Kelasoians. I'm still apologising if I'm butchering that. I'm sure I'm not saying it correctly. But here it is. That's a nice number looking uh, for like world. I, ever since they've added the customization of the clouds, I really, really like the way it, you guys are designing these. It's looking good. Okay. So it's got two mapper probes around it as well. But anyways, uh, the planet itself. This is the planet that has gone through almost 1,500 years of recorded history as empires rise and fall. The planet remains unchanged, though there was a time where the planet was heavily polluted due to industrial activity. But the uh, Kelosonians were smart enough to fix this before it got too late. Uh, now the Kelosonians are starting to expand outwards to the outer planets in the system. Cool. So Earth-like world. Uh, got some probes around it. It also has a moon quite far out called Mon. Or, yeah, Mon over here. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, next up we got Varlos. Okay, I think I can say that one correctly. Varlos. Okay. A lonely, moonless, frozen world on the edge of the inner system. Um, Varlos is literally named after the Gorian word for loner. Though you take this a closer look, it may not be as lonely as you think. As it has a ruined alien portal around it. Interesting. Still a lonely world, but has a mysterious object around it. Nice looking ice world there. Okay. Right, so now we're taking a jump to what I assume is the outer solar system. Okay, so this one does actually look really... I really like the design of this. Oh, I love the dark spot effect on that. Oh, that may be worth a save, actually. I really, really like that. I hope you don't mind me uh, pinching a few of them, but this one does look really nice. Right, okay, so... Ostas, the Azure Giant, the Gate Guardian, is the guardian of the gateway to the outer solar system as the largest planet in the system. It is more or less a gravitation wall you need to surpass to reach the outer system. Its major moons are also quite interesting. So this is the dominant gas giant, the Jupiter equivalent. So oh, here we are, the moons. So we'll have a quick peek at all of the moons as well in the uh, up here. Okay. Also has a moon. It looks like one of the moons has its own moon as well. Look at that. A ruined asteroid research special. Okay, or alien... I should say. And then we have a green moon. Looking underneath, it looks like it has liquid water. A greenish liquid water. It's almost like a swampy like planet in orbit of the distant gas giant. Nice. Okay, and then uh, another moon over here. And then we've got this purple one. It looks pretty interesting. Okay, so it's quite an uh, interesting colour going on there. Cool. Uh, then we've got AM2. So a bunch of those. So I'm guessing they're just pretty basic looking wells. Okay, cool. Right, next up we have got Massa. Oh, where are we? Uh, where are we? Da, da, da. Oh, we didn't read the moons. I, I didn't see there was a description on the moons. Okay, so back here. Okay, so Palosia. So that's the orange moon here. A moon of extreme tidal forces. So this was the first one we saw. A moon of extreme tidal forces and volcanic activity. Uh, Palosia is not a very safe place to land unprepared. The volcanoes constantly kick up soot into the atmosphere, rendering solar power ineffective. So this is the Io equivalent. But we've obviously got, still got a bit of thick atmosphere going. It's very close to the planet as well. Uh, then we've got uh, Palosia. Oh, no, no, we've done Palosia. So now we have Lomus, which is the green one we saw, sorry. Hatable moon quite far out in the system. It has an airborne algae, so the atmosphere is green. However, it is best to admire from afar. It has a nasty surprise on the surface. The life on Lomus has essentially adopted chemical warfare using chlorine gas. Ah, so it's not a swamp planet. It's all chlorine. Uh, as a defensive mechanism, making the moon's atmosphere more than 1% chlorine gas. So if you would wear specialised suits, if you decide to visit. Okay. Right, and then the other of the uh, unique moons. So, uh, Ratani. A more or less boring moon that has an interesting feature. Purple crystals cover the surface. Um, the composition of the crystal is unknown, but since its first sighting of said crystal, the crystal is named Rat Ratanite. Uh, okay, cool. Right, so now moving on. So next up we got Massa. So that's over here. The second gas giant of the system. Massa has an eternal storm raging in the North Pole. I've uh, seen some similarities with Saturn as well. Okay. Cool. Um, North Pole. It's not as large as um, Ostas, though. Thus, it contains f fewer moons, most of which are ice over due to the distance from the star. Also, most of the name of the moons are a bit odd, so I'll list out the pronunciations for your convenience. So we've got Mardos, Savor, Tosca, and Est. Okay, cool. Right, so here are the moons. Let's just have a little look at the uh, moons themselves. I got I do like the dark spot effect on the gas giant as well. They are some good-looking gas giants. I'm liking them. Uh, then we have Mardos here. So there's that one. Or Mardus. Uh, and then, uh, we've got this one over here. So Tosca. And then uh, Est over here. Nice. Okay, cool. And then obviously got a few more. Uh, we got Meme here. <laughs> so there's that one. Okay, cool. Right. Now we have uh, Yura, the final proper planet of the system. Yura is a frozen ball of ice, so it's believed to be the origin of the purple crystals that Ratani has. Ah, okay. It has uh, moon names that are also misleading in terms of pronunciation. So we got Yera and Sar as the moons of the sky. Also, a lot of alien. There's a lot of alien ruins in this system as well, if you've noticed. There's a lot of them hovering around. So there are both of the moons. Cool. Right, jumping out again. So we got this object here. Oh. Okay, and then it just has whatever that says. Planet, planet protocol? Pro, prote oh, planet protector. Divine planet protectors. Looks like that says 
So whatever that means, close. Okay, so we've read everything. Interesting. And these are the dwarf planets. So he said anything with D at the end, dwarf planet. So I kind of want to see if there's like a hidden secret somewhere in this system. Um, and then there's also a comet as well. Okay, cool. So is there any sort of... Ah! Aha! So there is a secret. So what is this? What is that? Alien mothership of some kind. So if we look on the menu here. Ruined alien colonial ship. Ruined alien mining vessel. Ruined alien research. Ruined alien... There's a lot of ruined aliens. So is this... Whatever, the, is this the mothership, the control sort of thing, maybe? Something like that? Some sort of hidden control ship? Interesting stuff. Very, very interesting. But I've got to say, a nice nice load of stuff in there. Very unique. Obviously, I like the back lore as well. I always like a bit of reading, as you guys know. Yeah, it's good. I like it. So, radius, line them all up. So, as we can see, um, yeah, radius. Why is it saying that this one's bigger? So, massa is actually slightly bigger in uh, radius, by the looks of it. But less mass... Oh, where are we? Uh, go back here. Okay, so obviously cell, largest subject, but yeah, on to uh, radius. So, Massa is actually slightly bigger. But it has 0.3 Jupiters, but this one has 1.28 Jupiters. So if you go to mass-wise, that's obviously uh, the bigger, more dominant gas giant. But size-wise, it actually is bigger than Mass or Ostas here. But that's definitely the best-looking gas giant, 100%. I do like both of them, though. Valos as well, also a good-looking world. Did like that one. I did like the green low mass as well. That was a cool-looking planet. Or moon, I should say. And yeah, I did, I did like the sort of uh, basic Earth-like world as well. Nice uh, blues and greens uh, mixing there as well. But yeah, overall, really, really liked it. And yeah, guys, let us know what you think down below of this system in the comments. Yeah, really enjoyed that. So always like always like some good old reading. So um, yeah, there we are, guys. So again, both of the systems we've viewed today. So the first one was from the user Salmon Feet. Or Salmon Feet. And then uh, secondly, this, the one we just viewed now, that is from Cyrus Play. So a massive thank you to both of those guys for sending in their simulations. And yeah, if you would like to um, send in your own simulations, like I said at the start of the video, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, upload it in the upload chat, and then yeah, I'll get around to it at some point. So a massive thank you for watching today's video as well, guys. If you liked it, let's even go for 40 likes. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to uh, 23,000 subscribers. And yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.